Well, this morning's freezing rain caused serious problems on the roads and also on the sidewalk. So most schools had a two hour delay or they were called off. But a series of bus accidents had parents furious with some local school systems. Jeff Goldberg is live in Fauquier County with why the superintendent there is now apologizing tonight. Jeff. Allison, that's right. David Jack saying that students at schools like Kettle Run here in Fauquier County should have not gone to school today, should, should have been closed for the day, not on a two hour delay because of the bad conditions of the roads throughout Fauquier County. His reasoning similar to what we're hearing from school districts throughout the region. This nasty weather held on longer and was worse than expected, leading to decisions that were not perfect. On even the driest of days, Hillside Drive is no easy climb. This road is, yes, notoriously dangerous. Clayton Yoder lives in the new Baltimore neighborhood where this morning at 845, a Fauquier County school bus slid right off the icy road. I do know this road was treated, Yeah. Um, just probably not treated enough. The students, 10 from Auburn Middle School and 10 from Kettle Run High, were taken safely off the bus into the old firehouse on 29 before getting a new ride to school. I got nervous about that. That was Emma Hill's reaction to the bus incident. She, like many parents in Fauquier, thinks the two hour delay was not enough. Well, I think they should have closed school because it was slippery out. I think that they should have called school. Fauquier County School Superintendent agrees. In a statement, David Jack saying, I made the wrong call this morning. Operating on the best information I received, I made the decision and I accept responsibility. I admire him for doing that. In Anne Arundel County, Maryland, this picture shows just how slick the roads got. And from the school system, which opened on time, an explanation for the decision. We made the most reasonable and prudent decision based on the information we had at the time. In Loudoun County, critics of the decision not to close took to Twitter. Hillal saying, why doesn't Loudoun County just close schools for today? My roads are literally terrible. Back in Fauquier, the mea culpa goes a long way. That's good that he apologized. In Loudoun County, 23 school buses had to be delayed because of weather related issues. Three of them were stranded for several hours in rural areas. But I did speak with the spokesperson for Loudoun County Schools this afternoon, who tells me that despite these weather issues, no crashes for any of the buses and at no point were any staff or students injured or in any danger. Live in Fauquier County, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.